What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Salute to everyone that's tuning in. I want to talk about Gabrielle Union. She is still, after years of being back together, you know, them having a child together, uh, seemingly everything is happy and good in the Wade household. She is still not happy that he had a side or a break baby with another woman when they broke up. Because I believe at the time she was still trying to conceive, but they had broken up. And we're not even sure how long they broke up. And he had a child with another woman. As a matter of fact, I'm going to show you here. Now, the woman on the left, I believe her name is Aja. She's a part of the Basketball Wives cast, I believe. And that is D-Wade and his five-year-old son, Xavier. And it seems like D Wade still has a good relationship with his son and the son's mother. I, I mean, there could be drama going on. I haven't heard anything. So the fact that you have Gabrielle Union bringing this up again, lets me know that she is still unhappy about that situation. She's still bitter about it. And D Wade needs to be careful, man, because women can hold grudges for a very long time, even though they had broken up. They were not together when he had this kid outside the relationship. Did D-Wade intend to have a kid? No. But I think that D-Wade probably was just looking for something different. And he got it. And something happened. Now, I think that her bringing this up to me doesn't make a lot of sense. But it also shows you where her mind is. So D-Wade has to live with this. D Wade is has to feel guilty for having a child when they had broken up. They weren't even together. This is according to her too. So it wasn't like he was cheating on her. This was a situation that happened while they were separated. They were separated from each other. She still has not gotten over it to the point to where she's bringing it up now. So let's get into this article from page six. Says Gabrielle Union was left devastated and broken into pieces after D. Wade confessed that he had conceived the baby with another woman. The former being Mary Jane star recalls the life altering moment in her new memoir. You got anything stronger uh, saying that she and the NBA star were not in a good place when the baby was conceived, but were in a much better one when she learned the truth. To say I was devastated is to pick a word on a low shelf for convenience. There are people, strangers who I will never meet who have been upset that I have not previously talked about that trauma. Union rights. Once again, why are you bringing this up? This is just like, okay, D way will be getting a lot of heat right now. If he was to bring up something that she did years ago, saying how traumatic it was and how, you know, it just didn't make her feel, make him feel good. Right. He'd be getting all types of criticism. Why are you bringing this up? That's the past. Why can't you move on? The same could be said for Gabrielle Union. Everything is supposed to be good in this marriage. Right now, moving forward. Why are you still upset about this? You weren't even together. Is it because it was so easy for him to conceive with another woman and at the time, not you? I have not, I have not bad words. And even after untold amounts of therapy, I am sure I have them now, but truth matters. The bring it on star began dating Wade in 2008 and he fathered his now seven year old son, Xavier, in 2013 while he and union were on a break the retired nba heat player was also a father to zaire zaya and as well as guardian to his nephew davion eventually wade and union married in 2014 and attempted to have their own children which proved to be a challenge when union suffered multiple miscarries that's crazy You've done enough, he said. I looked at D with an instantaneous 
white hot rage astonishment really i was fighting with my husband about what was the best for my body did he really think that surrogacy and a baby was our chance to set it right to rebalance union 48 recalls in her memoir i said coolly you're going to be the voice of reason now really really is that what we're on today he looked me in the eye as much as we want this baby i want you he says slowly we've lost too much of our relationship for me to be okay with encouraging you to do one more thing to your body and your soul so basically you know wade was looking out uh for the both that what for her right you're having all these miscarriages he doesn't want her to keep going through it but she was determined to have his kid she was determined to have it uh, the star missed that she felt the 39 year old wade's words were an acknowledgement of failure even though they were meant out of concern because at the point i would have sold my soul for a win up oh, don't say that <laughs> don't say do not say you would tell your soul for a win don't say that no don't say that you know you you don't want to be selling your soul for nothing okay to get out of the endless cycle of losses what was the going rate of for souls oh but y'all see y'all hear this up oh, y'all hear this up oh. what was mine worth anyway she writes the experience of d wade having a baby so easily while I was unable, left my soul not just broken into pieces, but shattered into fine dust scattering into the wind. She explains, with desperate hands, we gathered what we could to slowly remake me into something new. Eventually, the couple welcomed daughter, was it, is it Kavia, via surrogate in 2018. They also celebrated their seventh wedding anniversary last month. Yeah, we can't be talking about selling this old that kind of we can't be talking about it. that's crazy well let me just say this man there is probably reasons as to why gabby union struggled to have a baby over the years you gotta look at her age you also have to look at the fact that she may have had abortions before uh to all the women that support that um there's gonna come a day when you're gonna want to have children and if you have had those before it's going to affect you being able to conceive. Yes, it is. Can't be out here having, I'm not saying that, I'm not sure 100% if she has had one before, maybe y'all can tell me, but that's one of the things that can affect you as far as trying to conceive children, especially at an older age. You know, you're in your forties trying to have a child, late thirties, early forties trying to have a child. It's gonna be difficult. It's not gonna be easy. Okay, it's not going to be easy. And for her to still be bringing this up in a book, of course, uh, you know, using it to, to monetize something uh, in, a, in the relationship. Again, I don't think there's anything wrong with speaking about your relationship struggles. But once again, you both were separated. You both were separated. You weren't together. He got with another woman outside of the relationship. Y'all got back together. He told you about it because she got pregnant. Y'all weren't together. I can understand if he cheated on you and he went behind your back and did this. You know, he was carrying on an affair. He wasn't carrying on an affair. He was just at a situation where y'all weren't together. Y'all weren't dealing with each other. It's funny how women love to look at who a man is with when they're not dating each other, but who we don't know who you were with. Were you just waiting for D-Wade to come back? You see, once again, I'm not one of those people who's going to sit here and be a hypocrite and try to blame everything on the women. No, but once again, if Gabrielle Union had a side, no side, if she had a break relationship, right? Let's say Gabrielle Union dated somebody when those both of those two broke up, right? And then got back together. Would I be, would, would I uh, agree with Wade bringing it up five, six years later? No. Now, if you're going to say, well, that's different, 
because she's not pregnant. Oh, say, okay, let's say, let's, oh, let's say this. Let's say that she got, she got with a guy out when they took a break from each other. Let's say her and D Wade started dating other people and she dated a guy and got pregnant. Didn't know she was, she didn't know who the father was because she got with this guy for a short time and it got right back with D Wade. And then let's say she has the kid and a paternity test proves that the father isn't Wade's. Wade has two choices. Wade can walk away from the relationship or he can stay with Gabrielle Union. If D Wade decides to stay with Gabrielle Union after finding out that she had it, she basically the child that you may have thought was going to be yours was somebody else's, but she got with that person while y'all was separated. If he chooses to stay with her, he can't come back years later talking about, oh my God, the trauma, the trauma of her just, you know, screwing other men and getting pregnant by them and not really knowing if I was a father or not. You can't say that once you stayed in a relationship with her, because obviously it wasn't traumatic enough. You didn't leave. Now let's check out some tweets here. Check out some tweets here. It says D-Way had a whole baby uh, with another woman whilst Gabriel Union was going through rounds of IVF treatment but they were on a break. I can't even imagine the pain she must be going through. Gabriel Union must must have been really desperate to take D-Way back after he had a baby on her. Now she's taking her anger out on his break baby and not him. That baby should see their siblings. I, I, I agree, you should never blame the child for why the father decided to have a break baby. I think that she should embrace that child as D Wade's child doesn't mean that uh, you have to try to be his, you know, his mother, but at least be cordial and respectful that that's his child and he's going to acknowledge that child. The, the fact that you keep calling a break baby lets me know that you don't like that child very much. And if I was somebody who knew the mother, I would tell her, uh, make sure that, you know, she, the, the son's around, you know, uh, Gabriel Union as less as possible or whenever D Wade is around because you never know how these women are going to act when the father ain't around and then you have this child that was conceived by another woman mind you when they were on a break they weren't together the woman wasn't a side chick that lets me know that she still has animosity towards that woman calling this young boy a break baby is not right at all and that's how you know that's how these households are with these stepmothers or you know a situation where they they have to help raise children that aren't theirs and they mistreat those children i'm not saying that's what she'll do but her attitude she has the attitude of a woman that does not care for that young boy that's just how it comes off to me y'all may see something different but that's how it comes off to me I'm on nobody's side because I don't know these people, but people are assuming is Gary Union keeping the break baby out of the family image when it could very well be the mom not wanting her child publicized. Now, if Gabrielle explicitly said that, then shaking my head, um, but we don't know. Well, the mother is a part of Basketball Wives, I believe, according to the post I put up. Uh, she's on Basketball Wives. So. I don't think she cares about what's politicized and what's public, what's public and what's not public, you know? And, and I, I mean, would you blame the mother for not wanting her child around Gabriel Union? Now the child should be around his siblings. I agree with that. That's why D Wade has to be a leader and D Wade has to lead that household and be an example uh, of, of a father figure there. So y'all learn something in the comment section below, like this video, share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.